All right, uh, let's see. So what do we got? Ooh, we're pretty close to getting a blessing. We'll get that on the next one. Uh, so we want to do do do. Let's go see what we got in the shop. What's that weird like soulless? But what is going on? These are some weird NPCs. Ooh, what's this guy? Now that's what I call a god. We just have a revolver now. All right. Uh, let's grab the. Do we grab the chain armor? I don't have enough gold. Right, because I spent it on the gun guy. And we also get a steel mace. Uh, let's see. What do we do? You know what? Let's go to the... Let's do uh, this guy. Boutique. Reduce max health. Reduce defense. Damage increased by 50% when using revolver type weapons. Sure. Why not? I have a revolver. Attacks per second. It's all in the trigger finger. Okay. Plus three dash action. Add shots. Get out of here, short sword. Hello, revolver. Well, this will be fun. Let's see, Wander, did you ever try the magic shield upgrade? Uh, you mean the the level five defense one? Yeah. I assume that's what you're talking about here. Well, this will be fun. I'm gonna we're gonna be the uh, the medieval desperado. Uh, for a run. Now I don't have any money. There's not really a whole lot to go for. Uh, I'm doing fine. Yep, let's go. Oh. Uh, so yes, I have tried the magic shield. In fact, we're gonna use it today. Let's see how this character go- Uh, let's see how this character does. Okay, damage is pretty good. I kinda wish, uh, weapons had their own, like, unique crit rates. Well, I guess a lot of them do. At any of them that give the, uh... Crit rate bonus. Now, what we're probably going to want to do is focus on reload speed a little bit here. I kind of wish this character got a just uh, a damage bonus on all gun-based weapons instead of just revolvers. Wonder you'll be pleased to know that I got you hooked on D&D. Hell yeah! D&D is good! More people need to play D&D. D&D was like my jam when I was a kid. It was like, so uh, I've mentioned probably a... a uh, fair number of times. Oh, hello. Let's see. How much is reload speed? It's only 3.6. Ooh, that's pricey, though. Do I want it? Three points... Plus 3.6 percent reload speed. That really doesn't feel like that much. I don't think it's worth it, actually. Because this character, uh, gets all of his ammo back for dashing. It's probably better to just do pure power. Yeah, let's go power. Because if I can get my ammo back from dashing, then I should do that. Dangerous shotgun. Poison attack does tons of damage. Oh, no. Does about the same amount of damage as anything else. There's also the Bloodstone Ring, but it's expensive. I don't know what to think about this character. I really wish he just was a gunslinger. To some degree, I actually just wish, instead of uh, getting like an attack damage bonus... Uh, instead of getting like an attack damage bonus... Uh, for revolvers and stuff. It w just was a reload bonus. I guess he does. I don't know. Uh, but I also just wish it applied to all guns. Wait, maybe it does. Nope. Only revolvers. Ah, that sucks. This guy is a little bit on the, um... This guy's a little bit on the pigeonholed side of things, which is unfortunate. Hopefully there's, uh, enough revolvers to, like, really make it worth it. Ow. I do got to remember to use the dash more often to, uh, to get my ammo back, though. Because this, I mean, this is pretty cool. It just, uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel as dynamic as some of the other builds I've rolled so far. We'll see. This is a fat cowboy. No, he's got a poncho on. I think he's got a pat poncho on. Either that or he's got some real, real, uh, real bad jiggle gut issues. Let's see. 
But yeah, I, I don't know. On the topic of D&D, I grew up with it. I, I've told this story, like, a great number of times. Um... Oh, right. Yeah, I was, I was talking- I was talking about this. I was on this topic. My brain got distracted by revolver... Revolver metas and all sorts of other stuff. Anyway. Um... But, so... When I was a kid, my parents didn't, you know, generally let us buy a whole lot of video games because they cost money. But they would let us buy pretty much every D&D book under the sun. Uh, off-brand or otherwise. We ended up with a lot of swords and sorcery books, too. Which actually weren't terrible, but they were kind of unbalanced to the nth degree. And also bad. I didn't like the paper they used. They used, like, really cheap paper. It sucked. Um, let's tribute some things. I'll keep the Watcher for now. We want to max out the tribute, see if we can have something fun to bring with. Oh, let's see. Let's go back up here. Uh, but so we played, like, a ton of D&D because, yeah, there just wasn't much else for us to play. And that actually was perfectly fine. Let's see, so my defense is in the negatives. My crit is not bad, actually. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to keep focusing on, um... Uh, on crit again. Yeah, 5% five per five crit boost? I'll take it. We'll go down. What does the altar do in the end? It, uh, gets you rare, rare equipment. It's not that fancy. Uh, but it is helpful. I need to get the thing that makes, makes me invulnerable. For, uh... The the thing that makes me invulnerable while I dash. That would make this character real good. Because I could pretty much just zip around constantly. Uh, for tons of dash... Uh, chances. Ah! Bats! Bats! And thus, Wanderbot never became Batman. Where he killed them all instead of embracing them. Aha. That was such a weird moment. In the Batman movies. Did... It, was that, like... I've never actually read a whole lot of the Batman Origins, uh, comics. I just thought it was kind of, like, weirdly hackneyed that he, he was just, like, afraid of bats in a well in the movies. Unless I, like, unless I was mistaken. I could be mistaken. I don't really remember. Let's see, Wander, do you always, why do you always go for crit runs? Well, I'm trying to go for crit and attack power. Uh, this, this gun does not need, uh, attack speed. Not the slightest. Ow. Just trying to figure out how to hit the dog. Yeah, this gun does not need uh, attack speed. So, what else do you get for it? Because I would 100% I would try other things, but like, I don't entirely know uh, the merits of the elemental effects yet. Like, what weapons you want to get them on. I'm assuming uh, elemental effects are best to get on like heavy hitting weapons, like the the great sword or the Zweihander or the dragon hammer, because I assume it does like a percentage of your damage. And we got an Uzi. Okay. This should be interesting. I... This became a completely different game, which is really strange. Yeah, I really wish this character was just a straight gunslinger. Then again, maybe I don't. I... You know what? No. I don't wish this character was a gunslinger. Unfortunately, like, unless we find a better, uh, revolver, this character becomes kind of redundant. Uh, like, the Uzi actually is probably best on Rose, honestly. Who I haven't really used yet, but I would like to. Oh, hey, Croc. What do you got? Katana Police Shield. Well, that's absolutely worth getting. Uh, let's see, Silver Ring. Do I get the Silver Ring? It's fairly cheap. I'll just get the Silver Ring. Alright, so now we're, now we're decked out. And the Uzi reloads pretty quick, so I'm not entirely sure if, uh... 
if reload speed would even be worth something. I should probably actually stick with a revolver, honestly. Uh, but the idea of just running around with an Uzi amuses me. Amuses me. I'm a terrible person. Anyway! Oh! That was close. Watcher stopped the shot. And there's the food food buff. Yeah, so I'd like to try other other uh, builds with this run, but the main problem is I don't have enough uh, base power to really justify anything else. Uh, a purest evasion run would be really fun. I will do that some point. I, like, I, I will absolutely do a pure evasion run just to see if I can avoid all damage someday. But I think we need a little bit better. Like, attack speed's really not that helpful unless I'm using a slow weapon. And I like the idea of reload speed, but it's too slow. Uh, like, if every every dish was... If every dish at the inn you got uh, gave you 5% reload speed, you'd have 20... You'd have a 40% reload speed bonus by the time you're done with hell. Which isn't terrible, but like... I'd rather just go for pure power, and then, um... I, I'd rather go pure power, and then, um... And then reload when everything is dead. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Exit has healing. Yes. See, so shouldn't I get the Bimba Bap before anything else? Bimba Bap is only useful in one spot. Two spots. Uh, ah, there, there it is. Oh, I'm not done? Oh no, this is the way, this is the room I came in. I gotcha. I got lost. Uh, Bimbabap is only useful, uh, for hell and onwards, so it's actually one of the last things you want to get. Uh, there's no point in getting Bimbabap if you're never gonna get past, um, if you're never gonna get past hell. At least that's my general opinion of it. It's not a, it's not a bad thing, uh, at all. But, like, most enemies don't have elemental effects. There's, like, a little bit of poison in the, um... There's a little bit of poison in the swamps, but that's it. But, like, there's barely any any poison in the jungle. There's, like, a couple of snakes and spiders who I've never gotten hit by, I believe. Is it just me, or do they, uh, up an attack speed? Okay, I'm taking some more damage than I want to be taking. I don't have the, uh... Wait. Is it just me, or is this guy, uh... I think he cancels his animations a little bit faster than he used to. Because that was really fast! Let's see, do you miss in higher values buff, right? That is a good point. Uh... The food buffs are a little bit better as you go further in. So it is kind of a, a trade-off. Bomb shooter. Alright. Well. How did these things go? Huh. This will be interesting. Yeah, I guess... Getting a Bimba Bapper early is is good, especially because I do have the I do have the uh shoot I do tend to uh beat the runs. I guess I guess the real question is uh how far can you make it in uh in this game? If you can if you can make it all the way to hell, then it's worth getting Bimba Bap. If you can't make it to hell. Uh, then it's not. And part of the reason why, like, I'm kind of iffy on this is I'm not actually sure how far this character can go. Grenade launcher is kind of ridiculous, though. I gotta give credit where credit is due. The only problem is, uh, it, it has a cooldown on how fast you can... Uh, fire those grenades, but this gun will be kind of fun to use. It's got a massive AoE to it, too. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I blocked it or if it just... No, it didn't run out. Oh, no, the watcher stopped it. That's why. 
Yeah, I, I get the feeling I'm not going to, uh... I get the feeling I'm not going to make it, uh, past Niflheim with this character. Okay, there we go. Much easier. Yep. Yep. Mainly because this is my first run of the night, and, uh... I don't think I like the Gunslinger. Uh, he's only useful with one very limited weapon type. And so, unless I get, like, a really high quality, uh... Oops. Uh, unless I get a really high quality, uh, revolver. The basic one... I mean, the basic one is good. Uh, but it's not, like, so good that it's necessary. See, do the bombs teleport? I don't think they do. Let's see what the bombs do to teleporting enemies like Niflheim. Huh. Well, if we make it there, uh, we make it there. But yeah, I'd like to... I'd like to try... I want to try this grenade launcher with a shade, actually. Because if I can... If I can just do tons of damage with a uh, sticky bomb, it works so much better to, uh, better for me. Works really well with crit too. Like there's there's some pretty cool strategies I can think of for a uh, for like a grenade launcher kind of guy. Want to try a uh, attack speed crit build? Um, so the main reason why I don't do attack speed, generally, is, uh, it's a lower DPS increase than just flat damage. Uh, they didn't, they didn't set their, uh, food buffs particularly well. Um, because a 10% increase to damage is, in my opinion, always better than a 5% attack speed increase. Uh, bar none. I mean, I'm sure that there are situations where... I, uh, that is incorrect. But... My baseline, like... Lizard brain math says, always go for the damage bonus first. Once, once we're a higher level, I'll definitely mess around with attack speed more. Um, because it's harder to come by. Than straight power. Create a shield that protects the explorer. Huh. Sure. I have shields now. Let's see, but if you have 100% crit chance, you'll crit more with fastest attack speed than power. You do realize that crit damage scales based on your attack power, right? Like, yeah, you'll crit more, but... Unless you had, like, a proc effect, there's no point to it. Like, I, I, fe I feel like I'm being, uh... Hello? Please tell me this is considered a revolver. I actually have no idea. Nope. Doesn't. This is a weird thing. Well, let's try the Colt. It's probably bad. We'll find out, though. Uh, I mean, it's it's more Uzi than the Uzi. Do Colts actually attack this fast or shoot this fast? I've I've never seen uh, a Colt in action. I think. Yeah, we'll have to try a, a purist uh, evasion build at some point, though. Okay, so they do shoot this fast normally. All right, so let's just toss these in. Um. Huh. I think I'll just hold on to these. It seems like the create a shield that protects the explorer thing is going to be ridiculously OP. I don't like the fact that it's just this weird floating girl that follows you around, but uh, she might, like having something that gives me a shield might actually make me re really ridiculous. Okay, so let's go through here. I'm gonna see if I can carry her with me and then we'll do a, uh, We'll do a really ridiculous... Ow. Yep, yeah, holy shit. Okay. I don't know how the shield exactly functions.
But my assumption is... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta switch the Colt for the Uzi. Uzi is so much better. I mean, technically the revolver is the best. Uh, at least for this character. I'm torn here. Should I go for the shields? I feel like I should go for the shields. If I'm gonna be using, um... If I'm gonna be using the Shaded Man, we probably want, like, a shield generator. I just don't know if the shield generator is affected by armor or not. Because if it's affected, if it's not affected by your defense value, actually, we could go for a shaded man evasion run. That'd be fun. Because last time I think I pumped uh, max health, which wasn't bad. And the grenade grenade launcher would work great, uh, great with him as well. But it's hard to pass up just, like, a shield that blocks damage and recovers for you. Shield might only recover after combat, though. Not really sure. Yeah, I'll have to test that one. Uh, I guess I'll go take a hit. And we'll go find out. Let's see, what's the magic shield do? Magic shield, I, have you ever played Halo? Okay, there we go. Does it come back? Okay, so it looks like the magic shield only comes back when you're out of combat. That's not as OP as it could be. Uh, but it's still pretty ridiculous. Because it more or less means you get... You block about two hits per, uh, per room for just no damage. Combo that with, like, the bloodstone ring and you're barely, if ever, going to take damage. Actually, let's... Let's go with that. But yeah, still, like blocking one to one to two hits per room, like that's really good. That's incredible if you're going with the shaded guy who takes like, you know, at least double damage, if not more. And if you can con I if it is affected by stats, it makes it a little bit worse. Or it makes it really ridiculous. Because if you had, like, a high enough defensive stat, you could just go forever. Would work really well with a dash-based build, actually. Because you could, uh... You could just slam straight through most people. Without, like, any issues. Like, I can just take random hits here and just not feel guilt. Boosh! Oh, okay, so multiple mines on one enemy do not stack. Like, the, uh... I don't think the damage is increased in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Oh, good. I hate that room. It's always just mean. There's nothing There's nothing in there of any value. Okay, what do you have now? Jetpack. Allows the use of jetpack by pressing the space key. So you can just straight up fly. It's also... Alright. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Check the shotgun. It's a good shotgun. Um, I'm just not going to be using it on this run. I gladly use it on the next one, honestly. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? Let's go back uh, here. Yeah, I've got some room. Okay, so what's the crit bonus here? Six critical. It's not so bad. Uh, let's get the crit and then save up for... Uh, let's save up for the... Uh, the elemental resistance buff because we're going to need it after this point. 
Did I just turn this into cave story without you noticing? Yeah, maybe. Little, little, little possibility there. Okay, I'm dying here. What the? I think we hit, like, hard mode. Uh, yeah, so I, I died. Uh, let's keep the shield along. Because the shield was good. She was attacking faster than usual, moving faster than usual, and I should not have tried the grenade launcher.